you know, I just wanted to uh, do the best that I could and, and put in the work. So I didn't want to overthink it. I didn't want to get into my head about it. I just wanted to dive in and, and do the work. So, um, you know, I just, we filled my days with with uh, dance rehearsals and, and vocal rehearsals, uh, working out, stunt work, uh, obviously script and acting work, and uh, we just tried to prepare as, as well as we could. So um, how was the shooting with all this CGI, interacting with Abu and the carpet? Uh, it was a great experience. You know, it reminded me a little bit of theater school. I went to theater school for four years, and we did mask work and clown, and we had these puppeteers that came on to set, and uh, they helped bring Abu and Raja and uh, Iado to life. So I rehearsed with them for weeks as well. We wanted to get uh, Abu's weight down. What does a capuchin monkey feel like? How do I pick him up? How do I put him down? How do I interact with him? Uh, things like that. So you're really creating uh, another character uh, with the help of Guy and VFX. It's, it's a really interesting process. And how did you prepare for your musical scenes? Uh, you know, just rehearsal, and uh, I sat down with Naomi, and, and we discussed a whole new world quite a bit. We talked about it, what we wanted to achieve of it, because at the end of the day, I think it's it's much more than the vocals or the sound of it. It's uh, it's an iconic scene. It's what it represents. So we wanted to get that right, and uh, you know, we we discussed it quite a bit. And which was your your favorite scene from the original movie that you were most excited about recreating? Uh, you know, when I found out we were doing it, probably the underwater scene when Jafar pushes Aladdin off the ledge because I knew that there would be uh, a new skill set that I'd have to acquire. We shot it underwater at Pinewood, one of the largest uh, underwater tanks in the world. And uh, it was 18 feet underwater and I had to learn how to go that deep and hold my breath and do all these different things. So I think I was excited for that. And now Disney is doing a lot of uh, remakes of its classics. So what do you think that, that this movie can offer that is new and unique? Uh, a lot of things. You know, I think for one, uh, the representation in this film, you know, the, the different ethnicities and, and the different actors uh, from all over the world that we're representing, not just the Middle East, but Europe as well and, uh, and, and Asia. You know, we have a lot of actors that grew up in Europe. Uh, Marwan in the Netherlands and Navid and Newman uh, in Germany and of course Naomi in the UK. So uh, I think I think we can learn something from that and I think they're following uh, following that path for their other films as well. Um, tell me about your reaction when you found out you were going to uh, play Aladdin. Uh, I was in my trailer. I was finishing up another uh, film that I was doing. And uh, I got the call, and I just uh, I screamed a little bit in excitement in my trailer, but then my my reps had to calm me down because uh, we had to keep it a secret for a while, so I couldn't say anything to anybody. So uh, before reading the script, did you know about this uh, female empowerment new story, or how how was it for you? What did you think about it? Yeah, I did a little bit because of the scenes that I auditioned with. Uh, one of the scenes was the scene that Naomi. Uh, is talking to me about uh, taking taking over the throne and how her mother used to lead her people. So I, I had a sense of it, but I didn't know to what scale uh, it would be like. And uh, I think it's there's no better time than now. Uh, this is a fantastic time to talk about this and and bring up this discussion. And also, uh, which was the most challenging scene? Because I read about this Prince Ali scene. Uh, how was it? Yeah, it, it was amazing. Prince Ali for me was was quite easy because I just had to sit up there and I got to watch this incredible uh, parade from a bird's eye view almost. I'm very high up. So it was amazing. But uh, a difficult scene, I think, was maybe the Harvest Festival. I had to learn this choreography and then I had to pretend like I didn't know what I was doing. So, so that was very interesting. 